Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel for my new DIY project, this easy night sky painting. Strangely enough, my inspiration for this piece came from a night sky photo circulating on my Amazon Fire TV screensaver. To start this painting, I was reusing an old canvas from one of those wine and paint nights, something I wasn't really proud of and would never have actually framed. Gesso is a simple acrylic medium that acts as a primer, so I started with that before sketching out my new painting. I began with a wash of colors all over the top area that would eventually become my night sky. I have specific colors mentioned in the description in this video. A good amount of black was used in the corners and then blended out, adding a little bit of water to also create a color wash. It should be noted that most artists would recommend watering down your paint by no more than 30% and instead to use an acrylic medium if you need to water it down for more of a wash effect. As you can see from my cheapo palette plate, I used a mix of black, red, blue, and white to create the sky, adding layers and mixing colors for a variety of light and dark patches. Remember that the acrylic paint dries a little darker and duller than when it first goes on, so starting with a bold color variation will lead to a better mix as you go. For a little texture, I used a damp paper towel to sort of sponge the color on or help remove some of the color before it became too bright. For the mountains and trees in the front, I used mostly black and a small paintbrush to create the texture of trees along the ridge line. For the highlighted mountain in between the sky and trees, I used a black and white with just a hint of blue, layering shadows and creating white highlights similar to how it looks in the inspiration photo. With all of the areas blocked in, I let the paint dry and began again the next day with more color layering. The same damp paper towel helped to get a good amount of color peeking through as I added more and more paint. But be mindful again of adding too much water or else the acrylic might peel back up. After letting everything dry once more, it was time for the best part. Using painter's tape designed for delicate surfaces, I taped off everything along the bottom, including the mountain areas. With a large dry paintbrush, I got just a little bit of white paint on the end of the brush and began flicking it across the canvas by swiping it against my finger. This will get little droplets and a spray effect all over the exposed area. When satisfied with the number of stars in my night sky and a little dry time, I removed the painter's tape and the canvas is ready to be sealed. So there you have it, a quick and easy DIY art project that'll join me in the Vintage Camper renovation. But until that's finished, I guess it'll have a home in the guest bedroom. Thank you so much for watching. More DIYs to come, so please like and subscribe to let me know that you want more projects.